When the electricity goes out, provide your home with hours of reliable pumping using Little Giant Sump Pump Battery Backup Systems. Today, we will show you the quick installation process for the SPBS series. Let's get started. Install the primary and backup pumps in a suitable gas-tight basin, vented in accordance with local, state, and federal plumbing codes. Never place the pump directly on clay, earth, or gravel surfaces. Place or secure the pump so the movement from the starting torque does not cause the pump or any switch accessory to contact the basin walls or other items that could cause a hang-up. Place the pump basin assembly on a hard, level surface. Install the flexible coupling to the discharge of the backup pump. Insert two hose clamps onto the coupling grooves, fastening the one closest to the pump discharge. Slip the 90 degree street elbow into the flexible coupling and tighten the second hose clamp. Install the check valve into the 90 degree elbow. Insert two hose clamps onto the grooves of the check valve's flexible coupling, fastening the one closest to the check valve and only loosely tightening the upper one. Connect the backup check valve and the primary pump discharge using a Y fitting. The primary pump discharge line must include a 3 16 inch diameter air bleed hole and its own check valve. Position the pump control switch on the discharge pipe so that the cable tie is four to six inches above the on water level of the primary pump. Use cable ties to attach the 12 volts DC backup pump control switch housing and power cord to the discharge pipe. Thread the cable tie through the eyelets on the pump control switch housing. Tighten the cable tie to secure the backup pump control switch to the discharge pipe. Ensure that the pump assembly rests flat within the basin. Secure the pump and switch cords to the discharge line. Place the cover over the basin. For more information, reference the owner's manual. Thanks for watching.